Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nate, and this is the Daihon Nashi Eikawa Lesson Podcast. And today it's going to be an English only episode. So keep listening if that's what you want. As always, for announcements, please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube and Instagram. So, Twitter, that's the place where you can use the hashtag Daihon Nashi Eikawa Lesson. And we're always checking that hashtag. You can Comment, make a request, talk about the episode of that week.、Uh, you can see other people's pictures and comments. So check that hashtag on Twitter. Don't forget about that. And also follow us on the Daihon Nashi Eikawa Lesson Twitter. And also there's the Facebook. So on Facebook, that's me. That's going to be all English. So follow, follow us on the Daihon Nashi Facebook page as well. Also, for, tw- for, <laughs> for Sota and I, we have Twitter and we have Instagram and YouTube. So please follow our personal accounts.、Uh, S- Sota is Ego no Sota, and I'm Nate Sensei on Twitter and also on Instagram and YouTube. So please check those out. Recently, well, we went to do the speed learning collaboration. Yay, that was so fun. So, Check out all of the episodes. I posted them on Facebook recently, but basically it's Sota's YouTube collaboration with Speed Learning and Speed Learning's collaboration podcast and our last podcast, episode 70. So if you like those, please comment、um, and also please post on、uh, social media about what you thought about that collaboration. That was really fun. All right. So let's get started with this episode for today. All right, today I'm going to talk about Valentine's Day in America and White Day, which is coming up in Japan next month. So that's going to be the topic for today. All right, so I wanted to start out with just my experience with Valentine's Day in America. And you might be curious, like, what do American people do? Like, what, what's the difference between, you know, Valentine's Day in America and in Japan? I'm pretty sure you know, probably you know the difference. And I'll just talk about my experience so you can get a better idea about、uh, what American people feel about、uh, Valentine's Day. So, when does Valentine's Day start when, you, when you're an American person? It starts when you're a kid. And the first memory I have of Valentine's Day is like going to, I think it was kindergarten or first grade. So it's really when you're really young and you start going to school, like elementary school, on Valentine's Day, it's a big day. Even though kids, like especially first graders or whatever, they don't really care about the opposite sex. The opposite sex means like if I'm a boy, I don't care about the girl. Or the girl, they might not care about the boy.、Uh, sometimes girls、uh, care about boys at a younger age. <laughs> But either way,、um, you know, when we're young, we don't care that much about love and you know, expressing our love and stuff like that. Nonetheless, still, we do something for Valentine's Day when we're in elementary school. So, what we do is we get a set of cards. And the set of cards should have as many cards as you have classmates. So, this would be your homeroom class. Usually, that's like 30 students or something. And what you do is the day before Halloween, <laughs> not Halloween, I'm getting confused. No, no. The day before Valentine's Day, you write everyone's name on the card,、uh, sorry, on each card. And then you put a little. Candy or chocolate inside of each card. When I was a kid, we used these heart shaped, like kind of like, like candy things. I don't know exactly what they're called. I would just say a heart shaped candy. And usually they had something written on them. So it said, like, be mine, or、uh, you're my Valentine, or Something like that. So, be mine is like probably the most common phrase. Be mine, it means please be my Valentine today. It means be my 
lover. <laughs> Not really lover. It just means be someone. Be. I want you to be with me. Something like that. So that's a common、uh, thing to write on a Valentine's thing. All right. So after you go to the store with your parents and you buy the set of Valentine's Day cards, and one thing is usually. Like guys, we choose cool ones. Like when you're in like first or second grade, you like action heroes and sports or something. So I might choose a baseball themed Valentine's card or like a Superman themed one. And yeah, so after you get that set of cards, you write each student's name on it, and then you put one little like heart candy into each card. And then on Valentine's Day, you have okay. So like at your At your desk, you have a like a box or a bag, and it says your name. And then each other, all the other students have their own bag. And what you do on Valentine's Day is you walk around and you pass out each card to each student. And it's kind of funny because it has the name on it, but I never wrote like private messages or anything. So you really could just give out one card randomly to each student. But we always put. The student's name on it, so it felt kind of like personalized. That's a good word, personalized. P E R S O N I L. Uh, no, 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 no. P E R S O N A L I Z E D. Personalized. So that means it has the person's name on it, so they feel like, ooh, this card, this candy is from Nate. Oh wow! I'm gonna treasure this one. <laughs> so I remember that happening, like when I got a card from a cool person or one of my、uh, one of the girls who was really cute. I would kind of cherish that a little bit more. So that's what we do for Valentine's Day in elementary school, and it's pretty cool because you get one card from each kid. And each of the card has a different theme, and they each have one candy or two candies in it. So you get a bunch of candies. I remember just opening the cards, ripping out the candy, and just eating candy after candy after candy, and just getting sick to my stomach of all those heart candies that I was eating. And during Valentine's Day, those heart candies are around everywhere. So if you go to an office, a shop, whatever, they always have those uh, heart uh, Valentine's Day candies. So I don't know. I haven't really seen those in Japan, but、uh, yeah, I'll post a picture on Facebook of、uh, one of those candies. All right. So that is Valentine's Day when we're kids. As we get older, so teenagers and you know getting into high school and university, I think. We start to think about Valentine's Day more like roses and chocolate and jewelry and a nice date. So those are the things that come to mind when I think about Valentine's Day as a more like a for a date type of thing for a lover, for a girlfriend, boyfriend,、um, partner, whatever have you. It's usually focused on. Those things. So, if it's just like you just met someone and you don't really know them that well, probably just going on a nice date and maybe exchanging some type of flowers or something like that. And actually, not exactly exchanging.、Um, I don't think girls need to get guys anything for Valentine's Day. That's my opinion. It might be different for other people, but in my opinion. Uh, guys should definitely get girls something, and I, I mean girls like women, and guys are like men, right? So, yeah, I mean, at least get flowers or something that shows that you are thinking about them. I think it's good if a girl got a guy something cool. Like I don't know if flowers are the best idea for a guy. If a girl gave me flowers, I would be like, Meh, I don't know what to do with these, because. I've never. I don't know how to keep flowers. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I can't really comment on that. I don't. I don't really、uh, like flowers very much. But 
I do like the idea of a guy giving a girl flowers. So I think that's something that's super popular for American people when we are older. And of course, roses are probably the way to go if it's for someone that you like, a real Valentine. As for my experience, well, when I was in junior high school and high school, I didn't really have a girlfriend actually. So I didn't have a chance to go on like a romantic date or give girls flowers or something. I, I can remember some of my friends doing that, but I always avoided it, luckily. <laughs> so、um, I kind of stayed away from Valentine's Day in my、uh, younger years. The only thing I could remember is like, I think it was in sixth grade in elementary school. I kind of had a girlfriend for like a couple weeks. And during that time was Valentine's Day. So、uh, me and my friend were thinking about, because、uh, my friend、uh, was actually dating my girlfriend's friend. It was kind of a, a weird kind of connection, but this was, it's hard to explain. But basically, I was only kind of dating this girl in sixth grade in elementary school for a few weeks. But during, those, during that time, Valentine's Day came. So we had to think about, Like, what to give them. So, I think we checked like how to buy flowers and, or like, should we buy jewelry or something? So, yeah, I think those are the choices jewelry, flowers, or I guess chocolates are the pretty basic one as well. That's a pretty random story. I just remembered that when I was in sixth grade, I had to buy、uh, my short term girlfriend. I think it was flowers. I can't remember what I actually bought for her. I think my friend, he bought his girlfriend a ring. I think it was. So that was really expensive for a sixth, sixth grader in elementary school. For me, I wasn't dating her for that long. So I didn't get her a nice ring. I just got her、uh, some flowers, I think. Right. So as you get older in America, it's more focused on going on a romantic date. Um, I can remember, like in my hometown, there's a beach. So I remember me and my friend were driving together on Valentine's Day, and we saw some romantic man had set up a table with like a tablecloth, chairs, bottle of wine. He had set that table up, I think it was on the beach or next to the beach, and he was having a romantic dinner with his girlfriend. Maybe to show her how much he liked her on Valentine's Day. So that's the extreme kind of thing that American girls or women like is to get surprised, to do something exciting, go to a nice, cool restaurant, get something like a cute piece of jewelry or like interesting flowers. So, American women, at least when you're first dating, they expect. That you'll do something fun and interesting like that. As for me, what I expected, nothing. I don't expect much on Valentine's Day. Luckily,、um, I've had people give me like cookies, like home baked cookies, or some small presents like a razor or something like that, like for shaving. So I've had some small presents given to me, but you know, I don't have too much experience. Uh, with, with Valentine's Day, actually. <laughs> so, finally, let's get around to White Day. You know what? I think White Day in Japan is basically like Valentine's Day in America. What do you guys think? Because I know in Japan, like Valentine's Day is where women give men chocolate. So, in America, we don't have that type of day. So, we don't, we don't have that. But We have kind of the opposite, where especially men or boyfriends or you know, men who are in a kind of romantic relationship, they should give their、um, partners flowers. Or, as I said, jewelry, chocolate, or go on a nice date together. So, I think that's what Japanese people do on White Day, kind of. Except you still have to, or the men still have to give. Um, chocolate to the women who gave them chocolate on Valentine's Day. 
So we just don't have that tradition in America. At least in my experience, I've never, I've never given chocolate to anyone who was just like a random coworker or like an acquaintance or something like that. I've only had to get something for a girlfriend or、uh, a girl who I was interested in or something like that. And yeah, so I think in Japan, you just have this extra kind of tradition where you have to buy chocolates for female or male co workers on、uh, either Valentine's Day or White Day. But I'm not exactly sure, but I think White Day should be a little bit bigger, as in people go on more dates or people have more, like men give their wives or their Girlfriend's bigger presents like Valentine's Day in America. Is that true? You know what? I need to hear from you guys. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I would guess that's the case. As for what I know about Japan, it's that it's all about chocolate and it's all about on Valentine's Day, women giving men chocolate and on White Day, men giving women chocolate. And it doesn't matter if it's a lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife, or just a co worker, right? So <laughs> it's kind of hard to imagine like giving a co worker chocolate on Valentine's Day. But it kind of comes back to when I was in elementary school. I gave everyone in my class a candy and a card. That's the same basically as in Japan where. Except for it's split up male and female, whereas, you know,、uh, the females give males the present on Valentine's Day and the males give the females present on White Day. It's just split up. But yeah, even in America, when I was in elementary school, we had to give everyone candy and a card. So that's kind of similar to in Japan, but it's just on one day, Valentine's Day. Final comment. So, what do I think about Valentine's Day and what do I think about White Day in Japan? Well, I always joke, I say, I hate Valentine's Day. I have to get a present for, for a girl, but they don't have to get a present for me.、Ah, I hate it. But truthfully, it's not that bad. I think it's actually kind of fun to. Do something like go on a date or, you know, ha- at least surprise a girlfriend or wife or a partner. So it's actually a good chance to have a kind of spark in the relationship. So when I was younger, I would say, I hate Valentine's <laughs> Day. But now I'm like, meh, it's not so bad. I, kinda, I can kind of enjoy it now. As for White Day, well, I don't like being forced to give someone chocolate. So, in this case, White Day, I might, I would have to give、um, girls chocolate who, who gave me chocolate on Valentine's Day. So, I don't really like that idea. But, you know, it's part of the culture and it's not that bad. I mean, it's just kind of hard to figure out how much to spend on the chocolate. Should I spend the same amount they spent? Or do I even have to give chocolate to everyone who gave it to me? It just seems a little bit complicated, especially if you get a lot of chocolates, then you have to remember, oh, who gave me chocolates?、Uh, it's hard to remember that kind of stuff. So, oh my gosh, it's almost 20 minutes. I'm trying to keep these English only episodes a little bit shorter, so I'm going to have to stop. Uh, pretty soon. But let's continue this conversation about Valentine's Day on Facebook and on the hashtag Daihonashi e k a r a Lesson on Twitter. Because I really want to know. I want to know what you guys think about Valentine's Day, about White Day, especially the thing that's the craziest, most interesting in Japan, as we said, is the chocolate that you have to give to your co workers or acquaintances or people you know. Probably classmates as well, I'm not sure. But I'd like to hear your opinion on that. The, how would you say, the forced chocolate giving. <laughs> so that's all for the episode today.、Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. 
I really actually enjoyed talking about this topic. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because right now I'm thinking about eating chocolate and there's some chocolate around me right now. And I'm like kind of excited to eat more and more chocolate. So, to tell the truth, I like Valentine's Day because I'm a freaking chocoholic, guys. <laughs> I can't stop eating chocolate. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And remember to follow us on social media. So that's Twitter. That's Daiho Nashi e Kawa Lesson on Twitter. And you can use the same hashtag. Also, please follow us on Facebook. I'll post a picture of a heart shaped candy that we put in the letters that we give when we're in elementary school. Also, please follow our personal accounts. I'm Nate Sensei, and Sota is Ego no Sota. And that is on. Well, three different things Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day and I hope you have an awesome white day next month. All right, see you later. Bye bye.